The Dendora dump site was going to be decommissioned and a landfill built in Rai to replace it. At the time, it was music to the ear for people like Mary Wanjiko. She lives right next to the dump site. A mother of two, it's difficult to put up with the frequent bouts of respiratory diseases that attack her children at least three times a month. This is not strange to many families living in this neighborhood. Every time the heaps of garbage burn, the smoke ends up in their houses, garbage piling up to their doorsteps. Children that are persistently coughing and uh, even if you give treatment, you have to be sure that maybe after one month you'll, you're sure they will be back for retreatment. Like many other such previous promises by the government, it was too early to celebrate the end of this age-old menace. The first major study on the site was done by UNEP in 2007. This study assessed environmental pollution and its impact on public health. The environment within the Dora is highly contaminated with heavy metals. We also realized that those who had high levels of lead also had high, low levels of hemoglobin. Low hemoglobin in the body leads to anemia. Therefore, the need for an immediate and comprehensive urban environmental management system. This was shelved. Our role is we advise. Now, when you provide advice, you don't enforce your advice. Yet, another extensive study followed thereafter, conducted by Japan International Cooperation Agency, JICA, in 2009, that saw the city managers make the announcement. But close to a year now, nothing seems to be happening towards that end. 200,000 people directly affected. Um, then why is it not just closing? Enacted in 1999, MCA was established to govern environmental management in the country, spelling out how each type of waste should be handled among other regulations. There are two institutions that stand accused in this, <coughs> in this area. That is NEMA and Nairobi City Council. A blame game that may never end. Dendora dump site one more time will not move, at least not anytime soon. It was not possible for us as an authority to approve the relocation to Rwai because it was found to be within the 13 kilometer uh, range that is not acceptable for a landfill or a dump site. But the study was a joint initiative by the government, National Environmental Management Authority, NEMA, and the City Council. How could NEMA, a government organ, not have been in the loop on the proposed sites? The City Council may perhaps carry out another study to establish a new relocation site or convince the airport authorities that the landfill will be clean and not attract birds. It's a good document, but the question is, will it be implemented? According to the council, they only have 10 garbage trucks out of the 200 they had in the 70s. A majority have since broken down and their spare parts cannot be found locally. The council has only 30 enforcement officers against Nairobi's population of about 4.5 million people. While waste management is a collective responsibility from everyone within a community, it takes good leadership to show the way, and especially when a problem has become so deep-rooted. All this while the effects of Dandora Dam site echo far and wide, over 20 years since it was established. <laughs> In part two of our series, tomorrow. By Violet Atindo for Citizen Live at 9.